What's going on YouTube? This is Necro Steel and it's time for week two of the LBA. Your return to City Enders, of course, this week are up against the Scandinavian Stoutlands coached by Skyrander. Uh, of course, credit to Skyrander for the nice, wonderful, high quality video this week. Um, also a disclaimer, I did have this battle on the same day I was in with all the other stuff. But if you want to hear about that, which I don't know why you would, be sure to check out my PPL match. But for this battle, of course, uh, my co-coach Aiden and I came up with some interesting Pokemon. We did go with a uh, kind of just a generally more defensive Whimsicott in order to take hits. We were a little bit worried about Keldeo being able to run through our Pokemon here. Um, also, this time bringing Ponyard just because Sucker Punch was so nice against this team, especially if he was relying on sweeping with uh, any type of Charizard X type of Dragon Dance or Swords Dance or anything like that. Um, also retaining some nice coverage against Tyranitar and Gardevoir too. With uh, Dragonite, we did go mixed this week with Draco Meteor, Fire Blast, Extreme Speed. Very, very nice, solid coverage all around. We did throw a Life Orb on there just to hit and pick some things off with Extreme Speed. Um, we have Scarf Cobalion, Mamoswine, and uh, Archaeops as well. Archaeops was not... Um, holding an item this week just to power up acrobatics and to really just hit hard right off the bat and then um, Mammal Swine actually was holding the uh, Never Melt Ice item in order to bluff, scarf, or maybe even an extra belt or something weird like that just to be a general check to Thunderous and generally annoy things all around. So I ended up really really anticipating this match Unfortunately, I was just in a bad headspace during it, so I didn't think very clearly, but also I just horribly overpredicted for the majority of this match. But I didn't let that get me too down during the battle, so let's just see how that kind of allowed things to come out. Now, I did expect him to start off with Thunderous. Um, I figured he'd either go Thunderous or start off with Charizard to get the, the Mega Evolution right off the bat. Um, unfortunately, I got that 50-50 wrong, and he goes with Thunderous for his uh, starter, his lead, rather. And so expecting Thunderbolt go right on into Whimsicott here and that's like okay great I can take two more of those he's life orb life is good I expected him to switch not wanting to be on cord in to Thunderbolt because that seemed pretty obvious so I just went for Leech Seed because he didn't bring his Tangrowth uh, but he just goes for Sludge Wave uh, which I could have just encored him into the Thunderbolt there so I definitely over predicted unnecessarily there I could have very very easily just switched out um, but Mammal Swine is here now, and of course he's definitely going to switch out, not wanting to get hit by an Ice Shard, but of course he stays in and kills me with the Grass Knot. I went for Icicle Crash, expecting him to switch out, expecting the Ice Shard. So I've lost two Pokemon in a row to complete overprediction here. We're going to go out into Pontiard, just, you know, why not see if he has the Focus Blast, because we're, we've already lost two Pokemon to Thunderous, <laughs> why not? Uh, we're going to double back into Archaeops in an effort to get some momentum here. If he is Scarf Keldeo, uh, I will find out right now. If he isn't, well then something's going to get hurt. So uh, I do force the switch back out into Tyranitar, which is pretty nice. I was really tempted in to click Earthquake here expecting Tyranitar to come in, but I knew that Acrobatics would do more damage against Thunderous if he tried to switch that in and predicting my Earthquake. Um, so I do get a basically a free switch out to my Cobalion, but he surprises me with Thunder Wave here, which really sucks because Cobalion was my Scarfer. Um, and I could have gone for Volt Switch here, but I didn't want to uh, to use Volt Switch as he stayed in and did something. So I just went for Iron Head, figuring that it would hurt just about anything a good bit. Uh, and then I could also scout to see what he's going to react to the Scarf with. Uh, since he went out into Tentacruel, I'm assuming he's just going to go for Scald, most likely. Um, and I also saw Leftovers on Tentacruel, so I thought, okay, he's probably just um, a regular defensive variant of Tentacruel. But then we see that he gets buffeted by the Sandstorm first, and I was thinking, okay, he definitely has some speed because he went before me with the Sandstorm. Does he have special offense? Because if he's not specially offensive, he won't be able to one-hit KO me with Ice Beam. So Dragonite goes down without doing anything, much like Whimsicott, and um, yeah, just not not playing well here at all. Uh, 
just go out into Archaeops. I get a critical hit, Earthquake. I don't think it mattered. If he was max invested in speed and special attack, then that crit did not matter. But uh, if he was some type of weird investment, like just fast enough to outspeed Dragonite than the rest in bulk, then it may have been a roll. But uh, I'm going to go out into Cobalion here. I can't actually touch Thunderous because my last coverage move besides Vol Switch, Close Combat, and Iron Head is, of course, Zen Head, but for his Caldeo. Um, yeah, so it actually would have been really, really nice to go for a Zen Head, but as the Tentacruel switched in earlier, but I really thought he was going to stay in with his Tyranitar and try something um, interesting there. And because I thought the Sucker Punch was too obvious, I just come in with my last Pokemon here, Ponyard, and I get wiped out by a Thunderbolt. I, I definitely thought that um, he would predict the Sucker Punch, and so I just went for Swords Dance, expecting him to switch. Just not... I had complete over-predictions, trying to grab some sort of momentum back. Uh, he could have just one-hit KO'd me there with the Thunderbolt. I'm not sure why he didn't just go for that, but I am happy to take out Thunderous there, get a little bit of vengeance for my team, and the whole idea that, uh, yeah, everyone kind of just got their faces rocked by Thunderous, who would not have been an issue. He did have a chance of living an Ice Shard because he had taken, he told me he put some defense onto his Thunderous there to take an Ice Shard from at least 80%, but he had three Life Orb hits, so I, it might have been a roll. Uh, but Archaeops goes down here in the end. Definitely not, I, and I had such a swing of emotions on that day where I was battling. Uh, I think that was Valentine's Day. And I, I really just should have calmed down and thought a little bit better about my plays. But that's okay. I, I really, I basically swung from in the PPL match, I really didn't predict at all, to wildly over predicting. So how we handle this is this week, we just play the game. We, uh, we the Eternity City Enders just kind of need to get back in there. I'm basically the last in all the leagues that I'm in on this week two coming up. So we have our work cut out for us. Of course, in week three, we are um, we're up against the Tokyo Raichus, coached by Shadow. So that is a match that we lost horribly last time. <laughs> so we have some vengeance of a sort to uh, to 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 wreck upon him. So look forward to that. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, bye, guys.